about the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. He turned us the husband. Their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. Whoa. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any mad mage source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Okay, so that's a little clarification on the, um, on the hallucinations that we've heard about. Man, I am dangerously close to this car being not a car anymore. So I really gotta wheel it in here nicely. Let's try to avoid this thing. And then we'll just navigate a forest. What could go wrong? Okay, oh my god. You are a sight for sore eyes. Thank you. I'll check the Numa tube. Amazing. Uh, electrician's kit can be stored. This can be stored. We still have a lot of space. Okay, so that actually didn't, didn't fix it completely. Which is sad. So they have limited repair abilities. Which means I'm definitely going to want to hit the other one. Let me just check again here if this does anything. Yeah, wow, okay. That's good to know. It's good to know. Okay, since I'm up here, let me, tr let me try to link this. And we'll see what happens. Our hood has shocked, but you can't do anything about it. You just got it. Just goes away over time. So let's try to get out of here while being in the yellow. Last episode was Super Sweatsville. 9,000. <laughs> and now we're in like Medium Sweatsville. What is that? Have I seen that? Nope. Spike Puddle. I can guess what that does. Captain Neil Douglas filing. Today, when engaged in pursuit of a pair of zone trespassers, three vehicles from B Company were damaged and put out of action by what may have been traps deliberately laid. The trespassers who crossed from Canada via the Salish Sea and maybe fugitives are believed to have landed somewhere near Joyce after traveling, or sorry, yeah, after traveling via small boat. After multiple sightings and extensive tracking, we encountered the, tr the trespassers at approximately 1100 hours and began a vehicular pursuit down several fire roads. Driving a stolen government car, the trespassers evaded capture for some time and were able to prevent further pursuit by leading our team across patches of some kind of semi-organic oil-like spikes. All three cars used in the pursuit suffered destroyed tires and damaged wheels. It is unclear at this time whether these patches had been somehow laid in response to the pursuit or it existed sometime beforehand. The patches are extremely dangerous and unlike anything we've ever seen before. Recommended requisitioning tracked vehicles from Fort Lewis for further exploration. By the way, we found 17 anomalies, but there are 50 freaking two of them. That's scary. That is scary. I 
I'm gonna check the buildings here. It feels like I need to, just to bring my stress levels down. And if I don't fill all this storage that we got in our vehicle... Oh, nice. Yeah, fridge, that totally makes sense. This gives me 12 health. This gives me 8, so we'll eat a few of these. I do like that it uses them uh, automatically from, like, lowest to highest in terms of uh, healing amount. Very convenient. All right. Now let's see what's involved here. Shall we? The zone stabilizer. It's reassuring to know we at least have some ability to temper this particularly demented flavor of meteorology that blights our atmosphere. The energy demands are truly monstrous, and the infrastructure we have had to construct and reconstruct is an engineering achievement in itself. But we have been successful. We have all but perfected the zone stabilizer. Perhaps now we will no longer be quite as subject to its whims. I believe that correctly activating stabilizers will now create gateways, though it will also precipitate dramatically dangerous zone storms. Great. It is important that nobody uses or modifies these devices without explicit authorization. Okay, well that doesn't seem fantastic. Had a couple people asking me if, if my, uh, Hoarding at home is the same as the hoarding I do in this game. No, it's not. Are you kidding? I tried to kick that down. Alright, let's just see what else is all chilling out here, if anything. Okay, well, buckle up. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, Maybe that's the what shrooms. About you, Luffy? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Huh. Wow. Don't she? Do you think she's telling the truth? Because I don't. She's being a little bit defensive. Car's getting melted here. I didn't realize we were actually parked in there. My bad. My bad. Sorry, PP. God, what an unfortunate acronym or whatever for our name initials. The PP. That's that, that needs some work. We're connected to the mass hallucination. Maybe we can figure out what caused Call it. the pack pound. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. <laughs> Don't start. 
Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Where did gamma rays come from? But outer space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens, well, there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Or, oh, heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. Yeah, what does that mean in English? Or a portal. A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? Oh my god, these my things. Glasses. Of course! Now why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it. Oh my. If we make it out of this section with my car not blowing up, it will be nothing short of a miracle. And that is not hyperbole. I mean, I guess I could just store the flare gun that I'm not really using right now. That'll free up a couple of extra slots. And let's store that as well. Now, I can make... Uh, what was the thing I was going to make before? Oh, repair putty. Yeah. Let's make that. And a ceiling kit. Okay, that also needs a ceiling kit. Okay, and repair putty. Let's just get some of the major parts here. How are my headlights looking? They've looked better. Okay, that'll have to do. So we'll go to this little cluster of housing up here, and then uh, we'll drive down into, oh boy. Then we'll drive down into the next stabilizer. And, oh, that might be those things that we haven't been able to do anything with yet. One sec. And then we'll drive to repair the car. Uh, oh yeah, and this I probably don't need to be carrying around, but this is the thing I was looking for. Because... Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's sick. Okay. I'll take that. Oh no. Why? Why are you like this game? Holy smokes, man. You're just never safe. This is gonna hurt. Yep. 
but I'll do anything for materials because I'm a hoarder. Yes, I am. I will take all the things, if, even if it means I'll die. Now, I presume there might be something that we could use or build to increase our resistance to the radiation. Thought maybe a transmuter there. Okay, let's store our vacuum in this. And our bulbs. No, you do not chainsaw a backpack. Generally, it's not how it goes. High velocity particles. Aha! Oh, speaking of, it wants light bulbs. Interesting. And what's it giving? Those little, uh, those are little computer parts, aren't they? Electronics, yeah. Okay, I will uh, try to whip up some bulbs, maybe. Free pry bar. Don't mind if I do. I think we have the ability to make bulbs, so. Need TP, trade for food? <laughs> Not to be outshadowed by ARDA lies. Okay. So we can, first of all, we'll take these. Second of all, make some. So I can make six. Let's see how many computer parts we can get. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's probably not a great ratio. <laughs> probably not a great ratio, but... Those things are... The electronics are hard to come by, right? I have one on me. Let's see how many we have in here. I might have a bunch. Actually, I do. Yeah, okay. So forget I said that. Forget I said it. Okay, so this area is now clear. So couple choices. I think we'll hit this. And then we'll go to that middle uh, heel area. And then we'll go to stabilizer. Well, we don't know. Alpha or Bravo. Dude. What's my defense against that? Just try to get further away. Kind of tough when they come up in the gate and surround you.
Okay, we can see it from here. Wow. Looks like our right door is cracked. Yep, it is. Oh, I missed the turn. Fantastic. Actually, you know what? At this point, let's uh, let's change our approach, and we'll go here. Now that's up high, which means I'm not going to be able to climb to get it, so I have to take the road around. But it's okay. Good thing I like driving. I like driving way more on uh, controller than mouse and keyboard, to be fair, but... Because mouse and keyboard, mouse and keyboard, you have to, like... You have to constantly be tapping to steer, like, fine, fine amounts. Oh my god. Like, it doesn't appear that I have a way out of that. We're still okay. We're still okay. Let's not panic. It's all good. This might be light bulbs. Yep. Ooh, I wonder if there were any lab computers in the racks at that other station that we were at with the light bulbs. I didn't see. Um, we could probably... There we go. It's an easy solution. Had I realized the height thing here, we probably should have went to the other one, but... Oh, my door's gone! Awesome. <laughs> That's great. Is that something I can craft? Can I craft a door here? I can, actually. I knew I could craft it. What I was inquiring about specifically was uh, we craft it out of the back of our car. Oh, fuel quarter tank. I know I've got some in the uh, in the canister though, in the fuel can. Battery wise, thirty five. That's good. Out of a max of fifty. I don't see any issues there, at least. You would. You would do that. Now, please don't be the situation here where it's like, oh, you've linked the second thing. Everything's going to hell. And now... Pipe and follow it. I'm, t I'm literally under it, Oppie.
Okay. Should give us more than enough to get out of here. I gotta remember to fuel that with the uh, fuel at base as well. Killed me, You've dude. never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you. So, yes. It's our business now. Oh, Francis. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do. And I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. There's something happening when we get out of that car, that little to beep beep. With that, we either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important nice. to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? Guys, Screw simmer you, down. Oppy. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Holy. I get it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Guys, what Look, is your problem? If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I will better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. Last chance? Yeah. Let me work with the desperate one. That sounds fun. All right. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's the charge left. I wonder maybe that maybe it like charges back up over time too. That's possible. Light replacement. Hello. Uh, let's put this in here. I'll store the extra thing in there too. Okay, so now, now we have a trek. Now we have a trek to here. My question is, do I think that I can navigate to this road at least? Straight through here? What is that? Oh! Okay, I thought that was some type of anomaly. I think I can. It looks like... If we look at the, uh, the lines here, I guess this is something I can learn. Is that this, like, is indicating a hill? And so if we're at the top of it, then we can use that as a uh, suggestion that yes, we can go down here, but it's not without its risks, clearly. Come on, split it. Oh, sick. All right, so we'll go up and then we'll take that, that cruise around like we did prior.
We have basically cleared the map though, which is pretty sweet. Now what's interesting is it, it does want us to teleport out, and we happen to have the energy because we grabbed it in the uh, in the last area. But if we didn't, I wonder what would happen here because maybe when we link these, they'll all become active. And then we can grab them that way. It would make sense. Surprisingly, none of my tires have been, like, put off balance or flat or anything. It might be the most surprising aspect of every, everything about these last couple areas so far. Okay. We're going to take a bit of damage here. Not too bad. Okay, now, it's hand back time. Now we said the computer parts were pretty rare, which is true, but this area has just been very techy, right? So we've seen quite a bit more. No crate there this time. Let's just see if there's anything else. Whoa, that was so weird. Got turned around. All right. Stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out oh, of Oh, I see. Fast. What's weird is you can't, um... Okay, we gotta go. No! I have to follow the roads out, and that's gonna be tough. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't like this at all. I have a freaking long way to go here. I have to go. Oh, that was not ideal. Like, I'm literally crossing the whole map here, man. Not cool. Can't afford to stop.
I could try to leap, leap down here. Oh, I can't break it? You are kidding me. And actually, I might need to be up on that other side, so let's not mess with it. Let's just follow it. Hope for the best. Might need to upgrade our engine sooner rather than later so that we can move with some haste. There's going to be a left turn that I cannot miss. Come on, Pack Pound. Come on. Do I beeline it for that? No. No. Take the turn. As directed. Right here. Holy frick. That is so close. We're gonna make it, though. We're gonna make it! Let's go! Push it! to run with at least two junctions and with twice the anchor charges something something i got some achievements guys it's always a good sign wow nice work out there the sector stabilizers are fully operational you've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall one okay. more thing you may want to consider armoring up a bit and once you cross that wall the mid zone is another beast altogether the mid zone okay so we need to become tankier I gotcha. We might want to do just some, like, side runs, honestly. Highway travel. Highways are your shortcuts across the zone, allowing you to bypass junctions and arrive at your destination much faster. Expect them to be a smoother, easier ride. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so let's fill this. As she said, we're going to try to find ways to beef up our car a little bit. Thank you. Where is my lovely little... Oh, there she is. My transfer trunk. Okay, take everything, take this, take this, take this. That's all fine. That's fine. Okay. Open inventory. Deposit cosmetics, cool. And then now we've got the little mischievous Malcolm if we want. Let's swap it in there. Spaceship steering wheels, the other alternate, the stickers. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Paint shelf, let's store these. Fax machine. Let's store that. And lastly, ba-boom. That's everything, okay. Now, my god, do I ever need Okay, it doesn't look like I have any quirks. I think if that was yellow, that means I actually have a quirk. But, man, I need, like, some type of mega repair situation here. Alright. So, we definitely want steel at a minimum. Right? Funny enough, 
We could skip that and go to lead plated. But we need to, oh, we need to scan lead shielding. Scan a belching barnacle anomaly. Scan two electric anomalies for insulated panels. Dissipate a substantial amount of electric energy away from the vehicle. Okay, so that's how we get some of that electrical resist and it blocks charge. That's, that's pretty nice. However, I don't want to like beeline ahead too far. We're going to take the uh, steel door. And we're going to take the steel bumpers. Okay. Outfitting station. Yeah, let's see what that's going to give us. Upgrading cars is one thing, but now it's time to spend a few of those zone resources on yourself. Okay. Sweet. So maybe this is where I can get uh, better backpack storage or something. That would be awesome. Steel bumpers, first line of defense for any automobile. <laughs> yeah. Medium backpacks. Yep. Powered boots. Backpack modification offers a little more space for you to squeeze together all the more many curiosities you'll find out in the zone. And it's just fabric, so hell yeah. Large, I need swamp coral, so that's new. Powered boots. Softer and safer landing. It's going to use plasma, which is a lot of it, and some rubber. Grounded sweater. Uh, rudimentary solution to the zaps and shocks you might suffer in the zone. Definitely needs further modification. We have a lot of this stuff minus the plasma. So if I use this and this, that's all of the plasma that I have. Oh, padded parka. We'll offer you a modicum of protection against the knocks and bumps in the zones inflicted, though it could definitely be upgraded. Personal airbag. Offers the best protection you can get against any potential physical harm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm worried about not having enough stuff for the car. Um, maybe Scratchy have copper trim that literally grounds you, but it could make all the difference when your body completes a circuit. Custom crafted material woven into this clothing provides partial protection against impacts and heavy hits. Perhaps make your falls and landings much safer. Yep, cool. Okay, happy to see that. Now, what else in here might be good? Can we get into off-roads? I can. That's pretty much using all my energy, but I like I can do it, and it's probably a good idea. It probably is a good idea. This can repair car components stored in the station while you're out on a drive. Interesting. Rapid refill, fuel your vehicle faster than any standard pump ever could. I mean, sure. Parts lockers, okay, so th that kind of stuff, to me, that's like a nice to have. This is curious. It's only point three. Let's install this. I, oh, you know what? I wonder if this maybe we can like run faster or... It's a hoop. How difficult could it be to score a few points? Oh boy. Probably very. God. Like, it's hard to get the angle. But you know I'm going to do this until it goes in. I almost feel like maybe something like this is better. Nope, not even close. Oh, let's log this. Clearly. Beware, no one in the zone has handled an orb like this before. We have no idea what the consequences might be. 
I just like... Yeah! Absolutely. That's the way to go. Are you serious? This doesn't actually do anything for me? I mean, what did I, what did I expect? What did I expect? Okay, um, now, let's see. The Liberator seems pretty cool, right? Nevertheless, cleanly remove individual sections of a vehicle. It does seem cool. Magnetic hammer uses corrupted energy. Maybe I just go tires. Although, the engine. Oh yeah, I need a lot of that though. <laughs> But, that would be super, 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 super nice. Limb pulse emitter, not a pun, carefully calibrated device. Makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold on to or harm the vehicles. So, that's like, pretty good for the, um, abductors. Detect nearby resources and raw materials. I wonder if you could tune that. I wonder if you could tell it what you want to look for. Auto parker? Automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. <laughs> yeah, that would be sweet too, actually. Okay, I'm gonna take... Hold on, actually. I think we're just going to stick with steel doors for now, and then let's take the off-road tires. So if we look at the comparison here, just in the bottom left, from spare tires to summer tires, road rating, double A, health, 175. And then you go here, road rating is B, but off-road is significantly better. I mean, we are sticking to the roads, but there's times when we really need to um, not... So, let's go crazy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. We offer welcome, extra traction in the wet and the mud. Oh, oh, that's... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks for giving me all this junk. I'll recycle it. I mean, it probably detects, hey, uh, you don't have these on your car right now. It's doing its best to help me. I appreciate that, I guess. Just open that up a tad. It's already, it's already scanned. Already scanned. It's that other panel that we need to scan. It's totally possible that I've um, dismantled some of that stuff and not noticed it on a car, but uh, who knows. I still don't know what's going on in here. It was closed when we first arrived. Now it's just open. But nothing doing. Okay. Let's get to it. I need four doors. I need just to repair those. I need two bumpers. Let us begin. We're gonna make this car sexy now, too.
breaking. New status for us. The end is nigh. This is so badly damaged it needs it's on the verge of coming apart. It needs either immediate repair or scrapping. Um, can I just put this in my backpack from here? I don't think so. I guess if I drop it on the ground. Okay. Inventory full. So these things are just massive, I guess. Am I going to have a fully matcha painted station wagon? Bet your ass I might. Or maybe I should strip it. Maybe I should go naked. Uh, this needs... Hold on. It's shorted. Needs an electrician's kit. Uh, headlight. Yep. Cool. And then shorted. Some tremendous surge of energy, a violent discharge, or a sudden jolt. Whatever the case, this light is shortened and shines no more. Okay, cool. I actually don't have an upgrade for the headlights yet. I only have crude. Now, here's what I'm going to do. It's vacuum. Match of paint. Okay. So what do we have? Gray, more matcha, paint stripper, off-white, matcha, and paint stripper. Well, I talked about matcha. I mean, I don't hate it. Uh, cancel this, sorry. Let's do it. I wonder how, like, pristine we can actually ever make this car. Like, how nice can it get? That I'm very interested in. Okay, repair putty. I'm also curious, like, what's the next phase of repair putty? Does that exist? Deco vend. It's probably in here, right? Repair putty. Blowtorch. Fueled by restorative semi-organic tampon that aims in reshaping and repairing damaged metalwork. It's not durable enough to last long. will help with basic repairs on the road. Forty health over time and eleven health per second. Okay. And then we've got Olympium Torch. Now notice this stuff here, it's all that unstable energy, which maybe is happening in this in the next area. That's possible. That's possible. Let's bring up the checklist. Just so that we can see the repair. Oh, 
Oh, that needs a electrician's kit as well, hey? We'll hit the tire. Oh, actually, why? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make uh, I'm gonna try to make off road. Almost forgot. Not gonna lie. Okay, amazing. Let's make a uh, battery jumper. And let's make tires. So cool. Woohoo, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, so set that down. Put this away. I've got six slots now. We're gonna get rid of the spare. And then we'll just run with a summer tire in the, uh... In the storage. But not this one, actually, because this one's almost dead. We did repair that front left one. So that's the one that we'll use. Oh, we did- well, we sorted it. Okay. Good enough. Yes. Big yes from me. Now, I can see a situation where when we're planning our route, we're going to be like, okay, is this area going to be a highway? Is it going to be a lot of off-roading? And then we just want to outfit our car accordingly. But, uh be crazy if I didn't try to test this at least, you know? Store this stuff in here. Okay, cool. We know that I'm going to be a little bit safer out there with all of our personal upgrades. You know what? Sure. Okay. Oh, you know, maybe... Maybe I got those extra slots because of these upgrades. Because of this. Yeah. 66 backpack slots and 6 quick slots. So that's exactly what's going on there. Swamp coral lead platelets, which apparently I do have, but that must not be very common. Carbon fiberglass, that's new, we've never seen that. Anti-static gloves, rubber marsh eggs, plasma, rubber, tree candy, whole bunch of weird, weird junk. Now, like I said, uh, we could, we could just go if we want, but I'm kind of curious about, like... You trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about ten miles west of you. In yes, zone here. terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability enclosing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. Okay. <sighs> Leave an old woman in peace. So... Where should I go, then? Really don't want to mess with these extreme conditions. Um, this is a dead end. 
You can see in the top right, dead end. This is like... I'm just trying to look at the different things that we're seeing on the map. She did mention a highway, and this has like... I think that's like a highway symbol, right? The mid, mid zone crossing is here. If I go here, it looks like it links that way. This maybe gets us there. This, who knows? But I'm intrigued enough to try it. And if it doesn't end up linking there, I'm totally fine with that too. Because I'm also cool to just experiment here. Um, I don't know what turn code is. That looks fun and dangerous. Find a way into the wall. All right, cool guys, we're out exploring. I think we're fully kitted up, ready to go. Got battery stuff, we got scrappers, we got pry bars. Uh, I cannot make my own hand vac yet, can I? No, I didn't research that quite yet, but also not a huge priority for me, I don't think. Really wish I could save right here, but I can't. We gotta go through. See how these tires feel. I mean, they don't feel too bad on the highway. I still got some mobility here, but a little bit less traction, I guess. I think the trade-off will be nice. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And uh, we are going, well, through here, I guess. And we're going to race through there, go to here, and then find an exit there, hopefully. Wish me luck.